about black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the World Wide Web as the mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Number Seven. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ra. It has now come to the point, whereas most of the time you will hear me say that my number one priority are these who are the descendants of slaves born in America. This includes both male and female. I was taught and I was told that the black man is the leader of the family. So for a long time since I've been a child I've been looking to this leader of the family to lead. And what I have seen and what I currently experience are a group of black men, black males. And of course, there are always exceptions to the rule. And many of you brothers will agree with me. And you are also frustrated. And you are disappointed in the male gender that make the claim. The woman did not say you was the leader of the household. The elephant did not say the black man was the leader of the household. I don't know where this came from. But you make the claim that you are the leader of the household. And a household equals a neighborhood. A household equals a town. A household equals a city. A household will equate to a nation. A household will eventually equate to a civilization. You've been making that claim for how many years? And you have not even became leader of a neighborhood. You're not even the leader in your household. Because the woman has raised herself to the point where she can say, I'm, a, I'm an independent black woman. I don't need a man. And she has been successful. So now you are angry at the woman because you have failed at leadership. And she's able to survive and do for herself. She don't need you. But you are a leader and making this claim to be a leader, but you have not led nobody anywhere. You have not done anything. You are too infantile and too cowardly to lead anybody anywhere. You can barely point somebody to the toilet so somebody could take a proper dump. And I have also become fed up with this black man. So I will concentrate my efforts. And what I have to say, directing it toward those who are really in leadership positions, but the men are in their way. 
hindering their progress. And that is the black woman, the female descendants of slaves born in America. Again, there are always exceptions to the rule. But the behavior of these black men, not only on social media, but in our reality, living in this nation, you are still considered boy. And you are not respected. You make this claim. I'm a leader. And you have failed. It has been almost or going on a little more than a hundred years since Marcus Garvey and Nova Drew Ali and the black man is in the forefront of this so-called black liberation movement. And you have yet to really progress. You make a few steps forward, but you take many more steps going backwards. And these sisters tolerate you in your incompetence because they love you. They want to see you successful. But how long, black woman? How long, black children? You're going to wait on daddy, and daddy is messing up. Daddy is not a leader. Daddy is a failure. Daddy is not brave. Daddy is a coward. Daddy think with his penis. Daddy is a drunk. Daddy is a porn thing. Our people need to be liberated. Our people need to be free. And these so-called men are not qualified to do that for you. So it's up to mama. It's up to mother. The answers to our problems always come from the womb of a woman. It does not come from the sperm sack of a man and the creation is now calling you black woman because the creation that which brought you into being now brings you the answer to your problems the solutions to your problems and it has come from out of your womb you don't want to leave that's really not your role all these things that men claim is not your function but when they are, when they have become dysfunctional, then you have no choice, but you have to step up as a mother. As a mother, it is your role to defend and protect your children. Since the male refuses to do so. As a mother, it's your role, it's your responsibility to support and provide for your babies. Since the male don't want to do it. There are men born just for you who have helped you in your effort to put you in your proper place. And once in your proper place, you can raise the proper male. But these men who come from up out of a racist society filled with materialism, filled with other males that they fear, they still are scared of the white man. Or the pink man. These Caucasian people. They fear this guy. They holler black power. They talk a big game. It reminds me of the hog-nosed snake. The hog-nosed snake. When you first approach the snake. It acts all tough and bad. It does not have poison. It has no way to defend itself. So when you call the snake's bluff, it plays dead. So these black men, once they gain certain information, they are like the hog-nosed snake. They raise all up, black power family, and act all tough. But when you call them on their bluff, they lay down on the floor and they look dead. And when you become dead, there is no movement. There is no signs of life. So black woman, that's the type of black men that you surround yourself with and who you depend on. And many of you sisters will depend on these black men knowing they are nothing. You will lay down with them knowing they are nothing because many of you, now you know that it's your turn and the black woman won't step up. You will step up to take the leadership role when the male when the man or the male has failed, and he has failed royally. 
many of these people in the past, black men in the past, tried their best. But these modern day black men that live today don't even come close. They don't have the spirit. They don't have the courage. They want to be leader, but don't know how to lead. They have no idea, no comprehension of what leadership is. Leadership may require that you die for the cause, and they ain't ready to die. They're not ready to suffer. They want to go home and play Nintendo, Xbox, and watch the news all day long. And argue and bicker with other pitiful black men that run their mouth like the hog no snake. Then when you call them, call their bluff, they fall flat. These are dead men. You don't need those men. You don't need their penis. You don't need nothing that they can offer because they have nothing really to offer. They don't protect you. They don't do nothing for you. So black woman, it is your time. And I'm telling you, as your real brother, because I want you to rise. I'm not jealous of you. I know your potential. I'm not jealous or envy of you. If the black woman can get the job done of the liberation of a dead people that have suffered so horrifically within the last 400 or more years, and not only have black people as a whole have we suffered, but you, black woman, women in general all over this planet, you have been oppressed, raped at will, exploited, the original slaves. So much evil has been done to women. All women of all races, regardless to your so-called race. It is time that you break the bars of slavery from these pitiful males who are corrupt. It is your time to rise. And out of your womb will come men to help you rise and put you back on the throne and be happy to be your servant. I don't mind being a servant and being surrounded by women by females, regardless to your color, how tall you are, how fat you are, how ratchet you are, whatever you are, because see, as you grow into yourself, all those things will fade away and you will become the woman that you should have been thousands of years ago. But you've been destroyed and you've been tainted and exploited and you've been transformed into a slave the same way that black people in general have been destroyed. This is your time. It's your calling. And if the black woman does not want to pick up the mantle of this movement, then these black people who are the descendants of slaves born in America we deserve to go extinct. We deserve to die. And never be remembered. You too pitiful to be remembered. Again, brothers. There's always exceptions to the rule. You are frustrated with black men. And disappointed just like I am. I've never been around such infantile, childish, emotional men in my life. I've been around some pretty pathetic, pitiful black men. But these guys that exist today are clowns, children. And you have women looking to them for leadership. They're not going to take nobody nowhere. Except around the corner for some fries and a shake. They fear this Caucasian people. In fact, many of them romance these people. They love them. It comes from up out of their own mouths. Black women, women in general, it is time that you break these chains of slavery 
from these corrupt men that don't want to see the best for you. You are the controllers of the womb. And from the womb comes the answer to all our problems coming from the womb will bring those with the potential to not keep us, not only keep us and make our lives better on this planet, but take us out into the universe itself. But as long as you have these materialistic sex craves, these sex maniacs, we'll never be able to evolve further than just being intelligent savages. You are not a human being. You are an intelligent savage. In fact, worse than the beast of the field. It is time, black woman. And I hope that you understand black men. In fact, you should join me in helping us raise the black woman up. Get her in her right state of mind. All these things that you call her, that you learn from the masa. Black men did not call black women bitches and whores and ratchets and all this other nonsense. It comes from living among races. Racist men who hate their women. I love black women. I love black men too. But black men, quite honestly, they have failed. So when you are in a family and the black man can't do what is expected of him, then mama got to stand up. And the reason why we exist right now is because mama has stood up. And you should not let these pitiful, weakling, so-called men continue to hold you down. When I was a child, I was raised around the black woman, female. But as a black man, as a child, as a boy, I was looking for a man because I knew my mother could not give me everything that I needed. My aunts and grandmother. My mother was married to my father. Oh, you came from a single mother. My mother was married to my father. Now what, punk? And even if she wasn't, so what? But as a young boy, growing up, I looked at the so-called males around me, my uncles and grandfather and my daddy. I looked at all of them. And I knew that was not an example of manhood for me. Just like I look at all these sissies, these punks, these old crybabies whining and complaining Negroes on YouTube and social media and surrounded by me. The most pathetic, pathetic pieces of trash. As a child, I knew to avoid your kind. None of you impressed me as a boy. None of you. You don't talk like a man. You don't act like a man. Your actions are not like men. None of you would impress me as a child. None of you. Even if you gave me a piece of candy. Thanks for the candy. But you mean nothing to me. You ain't no man to me. I was surrounded. As a child I knew I was surrounded by. Black men. Who were mentally dead. Drunks. Just, just surviving. Just living. Living what? Living the life. Of a voluntary slave. I didn't have nobody to turn to. Of my own gender. So I had no choice. But to turn back to mama. And mama wasn't the best. But I knew mama cared. Because mama fulfilled all my needs. When I was hungry. Mama fed me. Daddy didn't never fed me. Mama put claws on my back. Mama kept shelter over my head. Mama did all these things. And these niggas have the nerve to get jealous because mama did what they failed to do. Mama was given a book. Mama rejected the book. 
I went into the trash can and got the book. The book was Message to the Black Man in America by Elijah Muhammad. And when I began to read the words of Elijah Muhammad, a man I never knew, a man I never met. But Elijah Muhammad, I could hear through his words the voice of a man. A man that I want to be like. He was a man, Elijah Muhammad, was a man that was challenging the races. Went to jail. Suffered. Did not care. I love black people and I will fight and I die for you. I love that man, Elijah Muhammad. I was looking for a man. And I found him as a child in Elijah Muhammad. My mother needed a man, but she never was able to find one. She was able to find somebody with a penis, but she never found a man. Again, there are always exceptions to the rule. But just because you have a penis, don't make you a man. It just make you somebody with a penis. So I turn to mama because I couldn't turn to a man. I couldn't really turn to Elijah Muhammad because this was just words in a book. But I understood the kind of man that I'm looking for. The kind of man that we need. So since daddy failed, since uncle failed and grandfather, since all these men failed, And only Elijah Muhammad was only in a book, so I turned to mama. So now, as a grown adult, there are no real men around me. I will no longer interact with these so-called men on social media and around me. I'm no longer interested in black men. I'm interested in the upliftment and raising the conscious of black women. And the black woman you are allowing these pathetic, pitiful, egotistical wackos hinder your evolution. Almost 100 years after Noble Jew Ali, Marcus Garvey, and we're still in the same kind of a condition. Why? So since the male has failed, now I turn to mama. And through the womb of mama, there are men like myself. We are born. And I was given the title Divine Masculine. We were born to help you, black woman, to achieve this particular task. Because mama it's time for you not to find a man, but mama, it's time for you as a goddess to make a man. There are divine masculines just like myself. You gave me that title, black woman. There are many black men who think like myself. We understand. They understand exactly what I'm saying. We are here and we was born to help you, to get back on the throne, to place you on the proper path because the black man has failed. He does not want to confess and admit that he has failed. You can't wait on this guy no longer. You got to take control of the situation, not only for your sake as a woman, but for the sake of our future generation, your babies, that these pitiful, pathetic pieces of trash don't want to step up to the plate and defend, protect, provide, and all that other stuff that they put on themselves, but they cannot live up to. Any man that places you in a position other than an equal, you are an equal leader. You are an equal provider. You are an equal all these things. 
any man that does not view you as an equal is not a man. They are the manifestation of these races living among these racist men who hate their women. And they enjoy that too. Not because they are men, simply because they have a penis. Real men encourage greatness in woman. All the answers to the problems that face the human being does not come from sperm. It comes from sperm mixed with ovum developed in the woman's womb. There has yet to be anybody that comes from up out of a man. All human beings have a navel, meaning they came from a woman, regardless if you male or female. You came from the womb, and that womb represents the essence of the universe, that which brought us into being to begin with. These males... <clears throat> They make claims that they cannot fulfill. And most of these claims are based or rooted in religious teaching. And God did not write none of these religions. Do you understand? God did not write none of these religions. All these religions was written by these racist, woman-hating men. And then the black men copy the races. No man, no true man would do anything to hinder any human being from their potential. So they can feel superior. So you have these men, I'm the leader. They want a feeling of superiority. I'm not interested in who's superior. I'm interested in our people being free. And if the black woman can get our people free, I will back you up in that. Because clearly, these males who are debating each other every day, they're not getting the job done. Too busy running their mouth. They scared of the children they produce. Scared to talk to the gangbangers. Scared to talk to, to the ones that hold guns and acting silly or whatever. You produce these children and you scared of them. You a warrior. I don't see nothing warrior about. Let me say this. I do not claim to be a brave person. In fact, I'm a scary person. You may not know this, but yes, I fear. I get scared. I'm not ashamed to say that. But it comes a time, it comes a time when you got to stand up. I stood all I could stand. I can't stand no more. Our sister Fannie Lou Hamer said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. How much of this you going to take? We've been living in this condition, suffering for over 400 years. How long you going to keep giving this stuff to our babies and children, going through the same thing? The black man has failed you, black woman. You must understand that reality. These black men don't care nothing about your potential. It's about who is competent. As long as the job get done. It makes no difference if it's women or men. As long as the result is the liberation of a people. That's the important thing. Makes no difference. But see, we want to get credit. That's why Negroes can't unify. Because the Muslims, they want the credit. For the, for the unification. The Hebrew Israelites. Those of Kemet. Everybody want 
They want to claim the credit. I don't care who gets the credit as long as the job get done. But also at the same time, black and African, these labels, these descriptions, that concept was never designed to unify people. It was designed to divide and cause confusion. And ain't these Negroes confused? Are they unified? No. What do they claim? African and black. The same label, the same description, the same concept that was used to divide and conquer. So if black and African was used to divide and conquer, what make you think they are going to unify and do anything for you? It's not going to happen. Has not happened yet. So these males, they make certain claims. The black man is a protector. You are a protector from what? Been living among races for over 400 years. You have not protect this black woman. You have not protect these black children from this racist. They do to them as they, as they will. Right now, in the city of Chicago, the black neighborhood, the black community is under siege by so-called gangs. In fact, it's been that way a long time. These black men will sit around and actually encourage and support the racists to bring in the National Guard to kill our babies. Our babies who have been misled, who have just been placed in a bad condition because of our failure as men. And so you want another racist man to come in and kill them. What kind, sisters, what kind of men are you messing with? But they are the protectors. These men so busy Watching sports, playing Nintendo, trying to get in some woman's panties, getting drunk, turning gay. They don't have time to do nothing. Men supposed to control the situation in their house. Men supposed to control the situation in their neighborhoods, their community. Clearly, this is a sign that you protect nobody. And even if it's necessary to use violence against the thugs, these gang members, then you should do it. Not no suckers from the National Guard. If you approach your, your babies, your young people, and a lot of these gang members are older people, they're not just black children, black youth. If you talk with them and sit with them and say, look, we can't do, keep doing this. Y'all got to stop. If they refuse to stop, then you stop them. You don't have to, to depend and call on some racist to come so they can enjoy shooting our babies down in the street. If they got to die, then I'm sorry, young boy. It should not come to this that you got to shoot me and I got to shoot you back. But we can't have this. That's what men do. You don't have a man, black woman. Do you understand? You got a, you got a hog-nosed snake that talk. Now, now you being called on your, on your bluff. You a man. You a protector. Now you can't even protect. Some of them barely can hold a job. They can't hardly get up in the morning and go to a job. But they protect. Some of these black men have been in the Caucasian, racist Caucasian people military. They was guard dogs for white folks. When the Caucasian man said, go sick them. Go sick them. 
There they go. Uh, Martha, who you want me to kill? Afghanistan? I kill them, son. I kill them in Vietnam. I kill them in the Revolutionary War. Go sick them. Sick, sick, sick them like a dog. They want to claim that they are men, but they won't pick up their gun to protect the neighborhood. They won't pick up a gun to protect black women and children, but they had no problem picking up a gun and killing somebody that did not do nothing to them for racist. You a protector. Get the hell out of my face. And you should not respect these pathetic pieces of trash. What are they doing? They having debates, clowning around, arguing with one another, being silly. They call the black woman emotional. Read the comments, go to the videos, listen to how these black men talk. Emotional. They have an obsessed competition with other black men. You should have an obsessed competition with the racists. Jealous of black men, jealous of black women, envious of black men, envious of black women, childish and infantile. These people are cowards. They're cowards. They're brave enough to go shoot and kill for racists, but they won't shoot and kill for black people. And y'all listening to them. They think with their penis. Listen to these so-called black leaders. These people that's running their mouth. They think with their penis. They can't even unite with you. Can't even get together with, you, with, with the black woman. And the only thing on his mind is getting in your panties. Getting somebody pregnant. Pregnant for what? You're not going to... You're not going to provide and defend and do what is necessary for the child that you produce. Listen to them talk. Dope fiends. Drunks. Homosexuals. Sports fanatics. I don't give a damn about nothing in sports. The only thing on your mind 24 hours a day is black liberation. Awakening our people so that we can change this horrid condition. Not so we can live here and be friends with Caucasian people. I'm not interested in being friends with Caucasian people. I'm interested in separating from these people. They are the reason why we are in the shape that we are in. And these who are Caucasian understand that. Nobody in their right mind wants to be around their abuser. They don't want to see signs of the abuser. They want nothing to do with the oppressor. Regardless, well, all of them, I don't care. I don't want to be around people that look like the oppressor. And if you don't understand that, that's your problem. That's just like somebody that was in prison. Then when you go home, the place where you live has prison bars and they still do the same kind of thing. Remind you of prison. Nobody want to live that way. I don't want to be reminded of my oppression. And as long as you want to bring some of your oppression with you, you cannot truly be free. You cannot reach your fullest potential. These want to play video games. They silly men. Talk big. Oh, they, they talk real big. Just like the hog-nosed snake. But then when you call them on the bluff, and I say this over and over again, because these men ain't S-H-I, you know what I'm talking about. They can get angry. They're not going to mess with me, because I'm fully qualified. Because I have a ring of fire around me to keep the savages away. You don't have to worry about these pathetic, punk, black men messing with you, black woman. You have divine masculine. You have men that will defend you against these savages. Stand up 
and do what you have to do. Rise, rise, raise yourself up. Come into conscience for real. Stop being controlled by these pathetic leeches. That's all they are, leeches. Think with their penis. The only thing they want to do is feel superior over you. They don't want you to be preacher. They don't want you to be minister. They don't want you to be leader. They have an ego problem. They, they are the providers. They claim, oh, we provide. We the leaders. We provide. Black unemployment, according to current statistics, rising close to 20%. In the major cities among black folks. Our young people don't have jobs. They, they don't have opportunity. When you look at these males. They would rather spend their money on pretty clothes and cars and Nike shoes. This is the black conscious community. Because they can't get together and use their money in order to create jobs, opportunity for their babies. So you have somebody like Brother Polite, and you have somebody like Malik Shabazz. I was watching a video. They bragging about their Mercedes Benz. How many, how many young people could that money have helped in the black community? They bragging about their cars that they got from racists. They did not build the Mercedes Benz. They paid taxes to the races. They bought the car built by racists, probably from a racist car dealer. You gonna get on stage in the public as a man and brag about this? Can't you see, black woman, that your black man is sick? He's sick. I'm not worried about None of these suckers attacking me. They can't do nothing with me. Because what I am speaking about is the truth. And if what I'm saying is wrong, then you prove me a lie. Not because you talk. Make me out a lie. I will be happy that you make me out a liar. I will be happy. Wonderful. The black man is, a, is the leader, natural leader. So where are you leading? Almost 100 years, a little over 100 years since Noah Drew Ali and Marcus Garvey. What have you accomplished? Nothing. In fact, you still quote and say the same thing that Garvey and Noah Drew Ali and all these other people said. This is 2013. You're still quoting from the Bible, still talking about Marcus Garvey, what Malcolm did. All these, that's gone and done with. It's the past. And you have not learned nothing from the past. Oh, wow. But y'all sure can make babies. You love to say, oh, the, the, the racists, they trying to control our birth rate. That's your excuse for being a sexual pervert. Then you bring these children into life and you can barely take care of them. And then the racists still have an opportunity to control them. You can you can teach a child black power 24 hours a day. But as long as the child is in this mud, it might like the mud. It said, wow, this is all right. I like the mud. I'm not going to claim you. So, I don't care. If you don't accept black power, you are not my son. You are not my daughter. I don't care. I love this white woman. 
You don't understand, love, daddy. Making up excuses because you're nothing but a porn addict. You can't control your loins. And those who can't control their loins don't produce quality children. So you have all these babies, but they don't benefit you. How do they benefit you? And the only way these children that you lust and make babies out of due to lust, because you can't control yourself, the reason why they can't benefit you is because you're not unified. You don't have no kind of order. So the races can easily gobble them up. And we see this. So you have Muhammad in jail. Akbar in jail. Shabazz in jail. You got all these people that was under Elijah Muhammad's teaching. All these brothers and sisters with Muslim names. Rapists. Pedophiles. Homosexuals. How did that happen? Talk black to me. <laughs> Talk black to me. How did it happen? In conclusion, black woman, it is time. There is no doubt that this black man that you love, I love the black man. But he is incompetent. He has failed. And so now it is time for the second line of defense. And if you fail, then it is over. The black woman must stand up for yourself and your children. Don't worry about what these black men say. They losers. Why are you going to listen to a bunch of losers? I don't care about these black men attacking me. Because I, I've built a ring of fire against these racists. And these savage black men who are failures, they losers. Rise up, black woman. What are we going to do? I'm here to help you. There are black men. We're here to help you. To get the job done. You are a lover of your children. You are a life giver. These black men copy the races. They are bringers of destruction. Mayhem and chaos. That's all you see out of them. Troublemakers. Whine and complain. Cowards. Losers. They get angry at black women when you call them out on their bull. So now they try to flip the script. Oh, the black women do this. The black woman has never had an opportunity to lead. Now, give it to them. But they don't want to do that because they enjoy the privileges that come with male superiority. They love what patriarchal teachings Give and favor somebody with a penis. I could care less. I want black folks to be free. As long as the job get done. It's very clear that these men don't qualify. They're incompetent. They're a bunch of losers. They cannot get the job done. It's up to the sisters. You are allowing these pathetic pieces of trash, these losers, to hold you back. Listen to yourself talk. Listen to the spirit of the black woman. She's ready. Because it's your maternal instinct to protect your babies. These men are not protecting your babies. They are causing all of, they are causing all of us to die a slow death. And these men are the examples for young men that's coming up. What you think that's doing? These men as a role model, what you think that's doing for your son? See, when I was a young boy, I understood and I could tell what a real man's supposed to be. But many of these young boys, these children, they don't know. They think these losers are men because they talk 
good. So what? You need to show your sons and direct them to your to your divine masculine and show them and give them an example of what real manhood is supposed to act and think. I am here to help you black woman achieve this goal. You can make this a reality, not just run your mouth. And perhaps when these black losers, these black men losers, when they see that you getting the job done, maybe they will, they will, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Maybe they will, uh, put aside their pride and say, man, let's help the sisters. We couldn't get the job done. Sisters taking care of business. You don't need them. There are many men out here that can get the job done. You are producing men every day. Not only are they here in America, but your man is here all over the planet. And you will be able to begin to reach out and touch those men. Touch those people. Not only in Africa, Asia, all over this planet. You black woman. You can do this. Because you don't have the hang up. That these black men have because they want black, they claim they want black people to be free. But they don't want women to be free. Because they enjoy what patriarchal teachings bring. They like that feeling of superiority, the leader. But they don't lead nobody nowhere. They don't protect nobody. They don't provide nothing. You don't need them. Yeah. I agree with you when you say, I don't need a man. You right. So I will help you. And there are other brothers. We will help you in your efforts in order to get this job done. It's time. All that foot shuffling and, and faking, that's over. I don't have time for it. Leave them behind. They are nothing but slaves. Let them stay with their slave master. Black power, living with your slave master. Black this and that, living with races. Let them have the races. It's time for the black woman to stand up and move our nation forward. Move this movement forward. No more going backwards. Stop being incompetent. Stop being afraid. It's your time. Nothing can stop you once you begin to rise. No man would hinder a woman from her potential and her greatness. No real man. These are not men that you love and praise. These are carbon copy of racists. With dark skin. You are nothing but a piece of meat to them. That's all. Something to play with. They want you to look up to them. And they have not earned nothing. They have not protected. They have not provided. They, they have not led nobody to do nothing. But they want the glory. And they sure is not willing to die for the cause. Bunch of cowards. Bunch of sissy losers. They don't impress me and they should not impress you. So with that said, sisters, it's time that the black woman stand up. Not only for yourself, but for the sake of our children, your babies, and for us as a people. You can no longer depend on these black men because they're just not, it is verified 
they cannot get the job done. They don't have the right mentality. They don't want to suffer. They don't want to sacrifice. In fact, they do not even want to confess, I don't know what I'm doing. They don't know what they're doing. I want to be free, but they don't know how to get there. They can talk about it. They can talk about it, but they don't really know what to do. And to shame, because they was taught, I'm a protector, I'm a leader, I'm a provider. In other words, I'm the smartest. You so smart, then why are you still living with racists? You so smart, but after 100 years, after Noah Drew Ali and Marcus Garvey, you are in a worse condition than it was during the time of Garvey, during the time of Martin Luther King. You are worse. But you're so smart. You the leader. It's up to you, black woman. It's up to you, black man. Don't feel shame that it takes women to get the job done. I don't feel shame. I just want the job done. Well, how do we know that the black woman can get the job done? We don't know. She can't be no more worse than these black pitiful pathetic losers that we call black men. You can't you can't be no worse. At least if we give the sisters a chance to try. Use their mentality. First of all, they have to be awakened from their sleep. And once they are awakened from their sleep, then they will attempt to try and support them in their efforts and see what they come up with. They have supported black men for hundreds of years. It is time that the black man put aside his pride and support black women and see what how creative what black women can do. And this is not to say that the black women will stop listening to our suggestions and take our advice. But now they must control the leadership. They must be able to to drive the car for a while. Maybe they can get us where we need to be. Because right now, everybody going in all kinds of directions. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a this. I'm a that. Dang, where y'all going? There must be one destination, one purpose, one goal, one common purpose. And if the black man can't do it, then let the women have a try. Let the women have a crack at it. They can't, they can't do no worse. And we as men give the sisters our experience, our knowledge. And let us see if we can accomplish this goal. Because the ultimate... Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple.